Hey everybody, Brent Johnson here with Heartfield Automation. I'm looking forward to this week. Last week we talked about how we ta I introduced you to the Mirror Robot line, and this week we're actually going to head over to Heartfield Automation and we're going to do a little bit of programming. I'm going to introduce you to the Mirror 100, that's the smallest robot that Mirror makes. And what we're going to do this week is we're going to map a little area to for the robot to run around in. And I'm just going to teach you this week how to make the map and do some basic editing, editing on it. All right, let's head over to Heartfield. Hey guys, I just got here to Heartfield Automation in Eaton Prairie, Minnesota. I've got a Mirror 100, that's what we're gonna program here today. A couple of things to note. First, you'll notice that there's a six safety scanner on the corner here and a six safety scanner back here. That gives us 360 degree view for this robot and it's a replaceable part. It's from the product line SICK. Uh, another thing that I want to show you is I'm gonna I'm gonna show you how we turn this thing on and how we log into it. So let's go ahead and do that right now. All right, let's get a closer look of these scanners. So there's the first scanner. It's just a six scan micro scan, and then the other one's right over here on the corner. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna hit, hit this blue button right here to turn on this controller. Now it's gonna take a few minutes, but it will turn on and power on, and then we're gonna log into the Wi-Fi that it's built onto it. All right, we're gonna map from my from the laptop to, to go around, do this first go around to mapping. So first you gotta go down and open up your Wi-Fi connection. You need to change it to the mirror underscore R1732 or whatever it's named on yours. Go ahead and hit connect. All right, we're now connected. Let's go ahead and open up a browser and then type in mirror.com. Okay, the first thing we wanna do once we're on this, we wanna go ahead and we wanna click on this little setup icon right here. And then we wanna click on maps. And then we're gonna create a new map. So go ahead and click on create map. And then just give the map a name. I'm gonna call it Brent's Parkfield Office Map 1. Go ahead and hit create. And then the next thing we're gonna to wanna to do is we're gonna click on these three little dots here and we're gonna hit record and overwrite. And then you're gonna go ahead and hit start mapping. So right now it's getting some data. This is the actual robot and the data that it's picking up. It's getting some walls and stuff like that. So let's go ahead and we're gonna click on this and we're gonna do manual control we're going to go ahead and just drive this, this guy around here. As I'm driving, I'm collecting data. This is a little difficult because as I'm doing it, I'm holding my laptop and going around the office here. But it will work out. We'll get a nice map here that we can create and then we can do some editing. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna click, I'm gonna get out of this joystick 
And I'm going to cl click this little square right here that says stop recording. Now I just created my map. I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. And as you can see, we have a map here. It's, oops. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit this check mark to save the map. I'm going to go ahead and hit yes. And we just created a map, pretty cool. So the next thing we want to do is we want to we want to go ahead and we want to make sure this robot knows where it's at. Right now it's kind of sitting over in La La Land. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this little two race flag thing and then I'm going to hold it and then I'm going to move the robot kind of right here. There we go. So you have to make sure the robot is exactly where it needs to be. So basically I click this little flag to get in the general vicinity and I click this button, the adjust robot position and now you can see the red lines are kind of married up to what the map was that we created all right that's all for this week everyone thank you so much for watching i hope you had a really good time and you enjoyed watching how we go ahead and make a map with the mirror 100 keep in mind we are doing it with a mirror 100 but this goes across all the mirror product lines so if you want to do a mirror 1350 you got a really big payload you can go ahead and you learn the same, use the same information to program that one as well. Next week, we're going to actually write a small program. They call it missions in the mirror world. And the mission is just going to be moving the robot from point A to point B. So hopefully you'll have a chance to tune in next week so we can I can show you how to do that. And if you like these types of videos, go ahead and hit subscribe. I have a YouTube channel. This is my YouTube channel where I've got a lot of different information on our robotics and other product lines that we sell through Heartfeel. All right. Have a great week and please stay safe.